Previously, 14 new celebrities. Welcome to the Madhouse. What have we got ourselves <laughs> into? And one right royal sender. Big Brother would like to transform you into a member of the oh, royal family. Oh my gosh, it's a very respectful honour. It's an honour in meeting you. I turned up at William and Kate's wedding. Absolutely. I'm in with the judges. Tonight, gods come down. Were you alcoholic? Alcoholic yeah. and a crystal man. Was you really? Like, yeah. I come from the ghetto. You know, like one loaf of bread between a whole family of <laughs> nine of us. And all eyes are on Gary. Oh my God, Gary! Has anyone seen <laughs> Gary Busey? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> when I'm talking, you listen. Yeah. Don't be rude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sound like a French bird. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> I think there's going to be a massive blowout with Gary. You shouldn't talk to people like that. Stand up. <laughs> Why? Because I asked you to. Talk to me like that, you oh, prick. If nominations were tonight, I would think everyone would put him up. <laughs> oh, oh. Dear 2, 5.55 a.m. It's the start of the first full day for the celebrities in the Big Brother house. While most of the celebs are still sound asleep, Kelly and Dee have been chatting in the garden for the past 20 minutes. They're all right, the bunch of you, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely. Yeah. They're wicked. So has your life changed since the television programme? It has, it has changed. It changed from the second it aired. Sometimes it, you can't say it's all in a bad way, because it's not. Yeah. Some of it's a good way, but... Have you found the press like, against you? Though, they're or? horrible. I was quite lucky. But like, you know no. something, I'm not, but why wouldn't you be supported? I don't know. I can't believe the reception I got last night. Can I ask you, how old are you, Kelly? 61. Do you know, to go to 61 years old? and not live life as you. I wanted to beat it. I was determined to beat it. But I couldn't, I, mean, I couldn't beat it. It beat me. But do you see it as it beating you, or do you see it as you've won now? Um, I've won and I've lost. If that's possible. I think it is, you know. My life totally changed. From being like, like going out drinking, and that wasn't me. You know, I'd done that because I had to keep up this image of, of Frank Maloney. Very successful. Yeah. As, it was a very successful image as well, wasn't it? I wonder if I can bring it back. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, and do you know, part of me likes Frank, and part of me don't like him because he was, he was such. Um, he never gave a, He never cared about anyone. You know, it just, OK, this is me, this is what I've done. If you don't like me, I do not give it. Yeah. You know. And that's not the way to live your life, actually. Frank wasn't a bad person. I mean, well, I'm still, I'm still, part of me is still Frank. Yeah. If Frank wasn't in me, I wouldn't walk down that platform last night. That's, I had to call on everything he's done to get down that platform last night. And part of me, um, you know, I think, I don't know what I think. It's like living, being born again, but being born in the middle of your life. You know, my, my children are always going to call me dad because I'm always going to be their dad. Yeah, it's one of them, you yeah. just don't judge. Yeah. It's one of them, don't I'm just judge their dad me. in a frock. <laughs> are you sure you're not the first and you won't be the last? <laughs> last. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's so many things you have to think about. And, like, as, a, as a guy, you have to think about a lot of things. You just got up, got dressed. But Kelly, it was like, do I wear that dress? Do I wear that dress? Do I look good in that? And I try them all and look in the mirror and I'm thinking... <laughs> I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. And I think... No, people don't realise. It's bloody hard being a woman. Welcome yeah. to my world. No. <laughs> it's so hard. You know.
9.45 a.m. To keep up royal appearances, Duchess D is getting her hair done. This one needs it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yes. James and George are making tea for the Duchess. I've got milk and sugar out there already. Oh, you've got that out there? In a little pot, so I'll take that to her. You take that, I'll, I'll take, take this. Oh no, I'll take the milk and sugar. All oh, right, where's that? Uh, out here, it's, oh, it's out there already. Oh, we need a spoon though. Don't forget the stirrer, she'll go mad. She wants, she wants teabagging, our teabagger. <laughs> George, Fr uh, Frenchie is saying you're sophisticated. When you speak, sophisticated. No, it's the way you speak, I like. I bet that's the first time you've ever been called that. No, yeah. like the way you speak is sophisticated. <laughs> yeah. The way he speaks is now. Like every word he uses, I don't know, it's a good English. What? Like, it's like sophisticated, it sounds sophisticated yeah, when you slow speak. Down. Slow down when you talk. <laughs> That's all right. What? <laughs> There's more. <laughs> more. It's got a Mohican now. <laughs> we can just it's spike cool. it off of it. I hope you've got more tea coming. If we can get more. We want butlers in the buff, please. Yeah. Butlers in the buff. It's <laughs> right, isn't it? Is that, is that my tea bag in? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I've given, I've given it a little squeeze. That's my stewed. I've given it a little squeeze. What is that? Oh, so you've got your own cups as well, the initials? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's yeah. OK. Hey. It's all right. You didn't know me yesterday. You, you know me milk. today. Do you require milk? Just a little drop, please. Gary has come to talk to Big Brother. Hello. Hello, Gary. Hi. How are you? I'm great, man. This is one of the best times I'm having in my 70 years. Uh, this is a unique and special place to be with 13 wonderful people with solid identities and big hearts, and it's just lovely to be here. Gary? Yeah? How are you finding it being a housemate? I found it great. I find it great. I find, uh, uh, I have a quite, a, I have about 13 sub-personality parts that I learned through therapy and facilitators, and they're all living alive and well, and they're having fun. <clears throat> and what I love to do is make people feel, let me rephrase that. What I desire to do is give people a good feeling about themselves from how I give them respect, honor, and love, just to be with them, learn from them, grow from them, be motivated by them, be inspired by them. It's a lovely, lovely blessing to be here in this house with these housemates. And this was all set up by the angels. I know that for a fact, Jack. <laughs> Eleven fifteen a.m. It's time for Duchess D to receive her breakfast from her butler. Supply closet, but there's not. So. Oh, Good morning. Good morning. I'm the Duchess's butler. Up this way. Could you take me to her, please? Yes. Thank you. She's outside. <laughs> Burn toast for the I Duchess. Been, I, to I didn't know today was Halloween. <laughs> oh, Jack! Oh my God! Oh my word! Good wow. I've missed you so much. <laughs> I have your breakfast, my lady. Oh, shall I go through to the? If you wish, ma'am. That's a bit. That's a bit pomp and stupid. Pardon? That's pop and stupid, bringing that guy in there to feed her. It's a bit over the top, isn't it? It's way over the top. Um, I'll have it here, thank you, Jack. So eat your eggs. Hey, hey, Butler. Hey, Butler. I just wanted to say, how are you going to bring the, how are you going to bring Mom toast that it's all burnt up, man? <laughs> because you? Jack knows that Jack oh, knows Mom likes burnt toast. Okay, okay. I like a bit of colour in my bread. Okay, okay Mom. Okay, I just, I just me, me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring you burnt toast. You know, it's kind of. Mom, thank you, darling. Much appreciated. Enjoy. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> have you had black pudding before? Huh? Have you had black pudding before? Chocolate? Black pudding? I'm not sure. Why? That thing? What? That black thing? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? No. That's, uh, I think it's pig's intestines. That's and blood. And blood. blood. And blood. Why do they call it pudding? Because it's like a piece of sausage. Whoever gets served black pudding in a meal, they lost a bet. Yeah. Have you ever tasted it? That's like a task. What? Have you ever tasted it? No. Do you want to taste it? I think you should. Try it. Try it. What will it, what will it do to my genitalia? It's like It's like Viagra. What? It's like Viagra. It works the same as Viagra. This is a bit overcooked. What is Viagra? That's a town in Brazil, isn't it? Black pudding, is yeah? Yeah. I'm breaking my virginity. Uh, <laughs> it's un the taste is unidentifiable. Coming up, Leslie's thinking ahead. I think we're all pretty much in agreement who has to go. He's managed to offend everyone. <laughs> And Gary gets a makeover. Has anyone seen <laughs> Gary Busey? <laughs> Eleven fifty-five a.m. Gary's made a discovery. Oh, but it, oh hey! I'm trying to grow mine. Except for it's me. a bit like he's at the moment. So my car. That would for me. Yeah. You can try it on if try you want. Try it. You can try it on if you want. Take a look, Gary. <laughs> this is going to be a good look for you. It's funny how you want to try that on and you don't want to try my little bit on. <laughs> no one wants to try yours. <laughs> Actually, that's a bit freaky. <laughs> oh, he does look freaky. Check don't yourself he? out. Oh my God! Don't look at him right. Right. Oh my God! <laughs> you look good, man. You look sexy as a I play rock and roll. <laughs> David and Stephanie are having a plank off. This is so easy. I can do this forever. Hey, that arse down, David. Hey, keep those glutes. Keep those glutes close. What is that supposed to mean? I'm about to fall. No, don't give up yet. Stay in there. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Just quit. Why are you moving about so much, mate? You quit. You quit. You quit, bitch. Quit. Do it now. Quit, bitch. She hasn't given birth yet. Oh my God, Gary. Is it Kelly or Gary? Has anyone? Has anyone seen Gary Busey? Come on. I've been looking for him for hours. Him. I haven't seen him, where is he? I think he's in the dark. God, you believe me. I'm getting rug burned. Well, I'll tell you, you yeah, look a little better. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the compliment. He's big toe. Bless him. Ah! He doesn't... Oh, oh, no! No way, no. Yes! yes. <laughs> well done. Well, I've been a girl. <laughs> Twelve or six p.m. Audley is filling Lauren and Edel in on his past. Like, I come from the ghetto, you know what I mean? Like, fucking one loaf of bread between the whole family of <laughs> yeah. nine of us and yeah. sharing a loaf of bread and, <laughs> what, and have one bread with butter and sugar because you had no money for anything. That's where I come from. And a little pot of beans no and you have a little to, bit like that. To fucking being a, making my own self-made fucking millionaire, Amazing. right? I tried to make as a poker pro, spent fucking Millions. thousands on gambling, mm. playing poker, like, because I needed an escape from right. my real world. As a fighter, the, the, what I used to rely on, mm. couldn't rely on that no more. Yep. I had no fighter. Now, a lot of people go through that. I mean, you might say I had a nervous breakdown, yeah. but me now, when I look at it, it wasn't that. It was a spiritual awakening. Yeah, yeah. Had, you know what I mean? It's a spirit. Yeah. I woke up. Mm. Leslie has come to the diary room. I don't match. Hi. Hello, Leslie. Hello. How are you doing today? Well, for having not shut my eyes once, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I live alone, and we've got these four rowdy boys that, that I adore. They're my, they're my boys now. They're, uh, I think we're all pretty much in agreement who has to go. He's managed to offend everyone, but 
even Mr. Busey was even mean to George. He wants to be this sort of spiritual guru, but I think that involves kindness, you know, benevolence. Um, anyway, I've got that off my chest. Claire, Edel, Gary and the Duchess are inspecting the pool. What are these? Microphones. Microphones. Or maybe weird flowers. <laughs> maybe what? Weird flowers. Strange black flowers that <laughs> organize death. Uh -huh. Ooh, Ooh, that's a bit dark. Send you in your hairdresser <laughs> if you can't that's a bit hair. dark, though. No. Do you know what the word really? death means? Send your butler in for brekkie. I'm going to take the letters to spell death. death and give you a definition for death. Go. D-E-A-T-H stands for don't expect a tragedy here. Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. Because I've been... You're, I've you've died got, twice. Yeah. Once after brain surgery and... Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, that's How long you told last night. But you know what? It's, 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 it's a beautiful transformation. And how did you feel? What did you experience? I was on the other side. I yeah. was with the angels. And how did it feel? It felt so truthful. Did you get truth that bright light or anything that people go on so about? It felt so truthful and loving. And trustworthy and the voices from the angel that spoke to me spoke to me in thought with an androgynous voice and it was just like a little baby lying in the arms of his mother that's where i felt so was, you were at peace then as well well on or earth, did you fight to earth, come back you obviously did you look back on your life on earth and you just laugh at yourself and you say why was i so serious yeah, yeah. why did i think this why did yeah, i yeah, do yeah, that? yeah but that comes with the dinner when you're on earth because there's one journey I know that we, the journey that we have that I know is true is to find the truth of ourselves. Yeah, I agree. Twelve twenty-eight p.m. Kelly and Leslie are swapping stories. I've been going through like, I've been under stress for ages, but training and walking is the only thing that keeps me calm. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And that's, you know what it is, it's an active meditation. Yeah. Because people have, uh, um, p part of my recovery, I'm in recovery and I go to these meetings and stuff and yeah. they tell us to meditate. So what, what are you, were you alcoholic? Alcoholic was and you? a crystal meth. Was you really? Yeah, years, I'm 19 years, 18 years sober. But, oh, um, well done. Back in the day in the gay bars, you know, they just t give you a bump and, oh, what is it? It burns. <laughs> and then you dance all night. And, and then it got where I would do my bump and think, well, I just want to go home. Because I'm so hyper anyway. It did yeah. the opposite of See, me. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit, it I'm quite hyper. In, in my boxing promotion life, I was very hyper. And people used to think I was always doing Charlie, but I never touched any of it. But yeah, as Kelly, I'm a lot quieter, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So I have to get. I think I'm still finding myself. That's my problem. That's, 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 that's it. it. I'll probably come noisy again after this. <laughs> <laughs> like our lads out there. Oh, Ooh, they're noisy. I, I love it though. I live by myself, so this so is such I do. A, I live by this myself. Is such a change of pace, I but I'm trying by, to embrace. It. Right, I live by myself with two dogs. My daughters visit me regularly. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get dressed. Who's keeping? Come. Who's keeping? Uh, who's watching your dogs while you're in here? My ex-wife. Oh. Yeah. James is talking to Big Brother. Um. It was quite an eventful night last night um, with Gary waking up like something from uh, a, a horror movie, sitting bolt upright and just shh. It was brilliant. I loved it. What's the feeling in the house like? I think um, some people are going to get offended by um, Gary because he is very, very straightforward. He'll t if, if you're talking when he's talking, he'll tell you to shut up, shh, don't talk, you're rude. Um, I find it funny. Um, but I think that, that after a few days, people are gonna get very tired of that. Um, so I definitely think there are gonna be some um, mixed words soon. Coming up, Duchess D gets dethroned. There has been an imposter in your midst. Will <laughs> the celebrity who has been hiding their true identity stand up? And James and Gary clash. Do you think that's acceptable? Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Look at I me. Have no look at you. <laughs> 
7.16 p.m. The Duchess has been called to the diary room for her final royal mission. Dee, it's time for the final part of your secret mission. Ooh, that's not regular. Sorry. OK. More of a wave, maybe. Big Brother believes a true royal wouldn't be a royal unless they can hand out honours. OK. So, Big Brother is giving you the chance to award the title of Viscount of Solihull okay. to one of the housemates you are hoodwinking. Hoodwinking, that's one of the American ones then, yeah? If they accept this award in good grace and really believe that they have become the honorary Viscount of Solihull, mm-hmm. you will have passed the task and can return to life as D from Birmingham. D, who are you going to grant the honorific title of Viscount of Solihull to? Will it be Leslie, Gary or Frenchie? It'd have to be between Leslie and Frenchie. I mean, it's, like, really weird. I've had, like, really great conversations today with Gary. Um, Leslie's just done nothing but crack me up all day. But Frenchie's been kind of very inquisitive and stuff. And I I, I think, I think going with the conversation, I'll actually go, I will go with Frenchie today. Remember, Dee, the whole mission depends on you carrying out this ceremonial performance convincingly. Okay. Good luck, and remember to be regal. It's an honour for me to share this experience with, I hate to say it, but commoners. But I don't mean that. I don't mean it in a nasty way. Commoners, that's great. You know, it's more like a subject to kind of way. Civilians, that's the one. I knew it began with the same letter. (laughs) As part of the duties that have been bestowed upon me by my title, which... (laughs) <laughs> I'm able to offer a title to one of you lovely people. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. I've decided that the title of Viscountess of Soli Hall, I'm going to give it to someone who I feel will bring extraordinary talents to my hometown. <laughs> and after living with you all for nearly 24 hours, the housemate I'm going to give it to is... French show. Yeah. 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 yeah! Thank you. Oh, but can you please explain me what it is because I don't understand. She's I most certainly now. will. Thank, Thank you. Well. I appreciate you doing it. You're very welcome. You. I'll give you that and I will explain it to you in a short. I'm very emotional right now, French May I open oh. it? Thank you, darling. Thank You're the you. Vice Countess. Nine minutes later. This spot? is Big Brother. Celebrity housemates, you've now all been living together for 24 hours. <laughs> Big Brother hopes you've enjoyed getting to know each other. But now? However, uh-uh. there has been an imposter in your midst. Oh. oh. What? what? An imposter. Why? What? <laughs> oh, no. Will the celebrity who has been hiding their true identity stand up? What? You're messing with me. What? You're messing with me. No. What? Ah, wow. <laughs> no way. <laughs> So well, no. Gary, Leslie and Frenchie thought this was the Duchess of Solihull. Her what? name is really White Tea. You didn't. <laughs> 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 you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. When she entered the house yesterday, she was set a secret <laughs> mission to yeah. convince <laughs> Gary, Leslie and Frenchie <laughs> that she was really loyal. Yeah, okay. Gary, yeah. 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 <laughs> the British resident <laughs> housemates knew her real identity and they were also involved in this secret mission. I was getting ready to go have lunch at Buckingham. We still can. Now we completed her right or set up convincingly. The whole house will be rewarded. You will all enjoy a right royal knees up as Big Brother is throwing you a party fit for a queen. Yes! 7.41pm. Dee's still hoping for some royal privileges. Any chance of a quick cuppa before I take the air out? Fuck her. <laughs> 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 you little knobboid. Excellent. <laughs> 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 
Kelly is questioning Stephanie about her past. Did you have a wild childhood? Yeah. But always in trouble and always up to mischief? Always. 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 I woke up with a tattoo when I was 17. And I was always getting in trouble. I've got a daughter, 19. She's sure she's quite, she's a party animal, yeah. She, and my 14 year old, she's becoming a little bit wild, you know. She she's a, she keeps telling me she's gonna have a tattoo, have a have a, have a, a, a tongue pierced and a nose pierced. I have my like, tongue pierced. Have you got your tongue pierced? I used to, but used to. only to be to Diff piss off my parents. Yeah, that's yeah. I said so. You can't. You're not getting none of that. When she looks at me. It's my body. No, you're under 18. Once you're 18, you can do what you like. Still my body. <laughs> yeah. Do you live with them? No, I, I did up to, to about three, four years ago, but I see a lot of them. We speak every day. Um, we, see, we see a lot of each other. I would hate to lose their love and respect. Oh, my God. I'm sure you got way more respect for doing yeah. this. Seven fifty-four p.m. Idel and George are feeling playful. Just got a teeth down and give you a rasher. <laughs> <laughs> restrain you. Oh, no. <laughs> Leslie is rooting around in the Duchess's trunk. Whoa! What are you doing? I'm going through the fake. <laughs> <laughs> And assume the position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are you are gay, aren't you? <laughs> there's there's being gay, and then there's being uh, the show. There's there's being gay. That's one thing. But then there's also being happy in your sexuality. <laughs> that yes. you're not afraid to express express yourself. Like I've got lots of gay friends. So you're for not me... afraid to you're not afraid to get butt fucked in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that to your imagination. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never hit a 70 year old before, ever. I mean, come on. <laughs> Show your little fucking ass and have Leslie sickening your small finger in the rectum. I don't mind a little finger, a cheeky little finger. You know what? <laughs> I know for a fact he has a little <laughs> Vaseline tube in every piece of his luggage. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get me. <laughs> Arch your oh back. Oh. It's yeah. normally, it's normally, it's normally the people like you. Oh, okay. oh. Listen, no, wait, wait, listen. Listen, I'm talking. Oh, no. When I'm talking, you listen. Yeah. Don't be rude. Yes, sir. Don't be rude. Okay. Yeah. It works the same both ways. So okay. what I'm saying to you is, excuse me. Look at me when I'm talking up. to you. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Okay. I'm saying to you. People like you that are worried about homosexuality. Oh, no, I'm not worried oh, about okay. it. Okay. I accept it. Okay. Yeah. But you can't go the, around saying you're gay, you're this, you're that. Oh, no, you're I didn't this. say that. I just said that you honor the gay No, you said brain. that I get butt fucked. <clears throat> no, you do in your imagination. Really? Yeah, I've seen you, you think, think. Really? You should be careful what you say, mate. You might be 70 years old, but be careful what you say to people. You've got to be ter careful what you take seriously. Really? No, I, I do no. take that seriously. Ooh, you're violating a vow of your own truth. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't say that to you, it's disrespectful. That matter. I have respect for my elders, and you should have respect for people I as well. I do respect her. You think so? I know so. You think you have hey, respect? Hey, Do you think that's acceptable? Don't look at them. Don't look at them, look at I me. I have no reason to look at you. <clears throat> Fucking talk to me like that. You shouldn't talk to people like that. Stand up. Why? Because I ask you to. I'm not going to stand up. I'm not going to argue with you. You, you, you. That's all you're doing. But what you said to me, do you think it's right? I didn't know. I don't remember what I said. Okay, so don't worry about it. No, you don't worry. Listen, about mate. I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue. Uh, I apologize you. for upsetting you in the way that I upset you without knowledge it would upset you. That I am innocent of. But I realize what you're saying to me, and I know it could be taken in the way you're taking it, which is I'm respectful of that because that's who you are. You know? Come on, fellas. Kiss so you're going to shake my hand? Or kiss, not? Kiss and make up, fellas. And what'd you say? Kiss, never mind, it was a joke. Kiss and make up. See? Now, do you take that seriously that he's calling you gay? What? No, he's not. Kiss no, and make up. He's not. He's trying to make <laughs> humor of it. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's, you didn't. That's, you what, didn't. I'm, that's what I'm. Uh, uh, that's what I'm doing. 
If you are, then I misunderstood you. So then I apologize for that. Oh, let's shake hands and... Come on. You don't have to apologize for that. Okay. Because you didn't do anything wrong. Okay. You took it as you felt it. I took it, And yeah. that's your truth. I'm not... I respect and adore you, man, for who you are. Yeah, that's it good. It was all meant in humor and fun. That's good, then. So because gonna... that was the intention of mine. That was my, rather, my intention. Okay, so then, okay, that's fine. Eight or five p.m. It's been seven minutes since James and Gary's disagreement. What? What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to talk about it. All right. All right. All right. We just went a bit far, and I, Gary. Yeah. With who? With me. So I told him what I thought, saying I want to, I'm, I want to get, I want to get butt fucked and. Uh, Talk to me like that, you prick. You can't really say that ever to someone. No, I just thought it was a bit. Rude. It's graphic. Do you, take it, too. do you take it back though? Or? I was messing about with Leslie. Yeah. Like, he put, was putting a white glove on and I was just messing about and I went, assume the position, like that. And then he just kind of went in. I was like, whoa. I ducked and ran. I'm a chicken. I am. I didn't know if it was a joke at first. I know that's what, I mean, did, what did he say? He said something about you want to be um, butt fucked. He said that to James, and then, like, James didn't take it, like, as a joke, and then he, he was just like... Is James going? It's not his... No, 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 no. OK. Yeah. So it's a bit silly. I know, that's what I mean, have you? That's what hit that Gary's like. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's what I mean, that's what I mean, that's what I thought. Yeah, exactly, that's it. But maybe we just got wound up over. <laughs> I don't think you're a good listener right now, man. OK. Because you're, you're too, uh, you're emotionally bent in this situation but you started it you and leslie started i just made a joke on that you don't remember what you said to me it was part of the joke okay then i misunderstood it then yeah you did completely it wasn't meant to harm you it wasn't meant to defame you it wasn't meant to uh betray you in any way it was just part of the fun vision that you and leslie started so to say that i take it up the ass or whatever you insinuated you think is okay to say to someone no it's part of the joke that you oh, that's a joke. started so then obviously again maybe different humor because in this country we don't say those sort of things to people that's listen, not funny well listen buddy you started a joke i finished the joke i'm not from this country i did not know your routine of negativity yeah. and restriction yeah but you guys do have a lot of restrictions yeah we do here. we do and it's something that i don't come with but what I'm saying is, I want to forget about it. I don't well, know I if you, you do. do. I've already forgotten about it. I just gave okay. you the definition of past. Preoccupation about spent time. Do you feel harmed with that joke that I continue? No, because you've told me it was a joke. And I'm apologizing for misunderstanding you. I appreciate it. I accept the apology. Because you've what? told me it was a joke. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. It was very funny. But then, <laughs> oh, oh. You know, it's like uh, fucking I hit a hive of bees. I didn't know we were there. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> Don't let us thank you. Ah, oh, hey! Oh, here it is. <laughs> but it's, it's good that you chose to have a talk with me uh, in the nature of uh, harmony and spirituality. Because yeah. that's all I am. And this is a this spiritual is handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Ricky sets his sights. Steph got boyfriend. I don't, uh, I don't think none of them have no. And Gary's feeling spiritual. On a beautiful first day. Thank you, my angels. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we got. Ten thirty p.m. The celebrities have been enjoying their royal-themed bash for the past fifty minutes. She said, "Look at the Duchess getting all teary-eyed," and I said, "I said, well, you know, she lives on one of those big ancestral homes, 
by herself, by herself with, her with her corgis. So she, she never gets to be around. She probably people. doesn't get to be around fun people like that. I bet you're thinking, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what a, so what when, when they briefed you, did they say you had to act real posh and yeah. um, well, they didn't say posh, and I don't really do posh. <laughs> Just your, be a bit of Your leaf. accent is so posh. You're very posh. <laughs> I thought. Mm. David and Ricky are evaluating their female housemates. Is that what you freshened up for? I put the um, creed on for the Lauren, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is um, Steph got a boyfriend? I don't, um, I don't think none of them have, no. I don't think so. She's fair, like. I seen her, she was resting her head on you before. Yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> Basically, I take all things off. I was, looking, I was looking for her, she was like, lying like that. And I guarantee you, she just like, obviously, because she was the first day here, but she's from America and stuff like that. I yeah. guarantee you, she. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but do you know when you get start getting touchy feely, it's like, you know. Yeah, you know, you, you, exactly. I can just see how you know, you know. Exactly, you know, you know. You're the only single guy. Did we fight on over you? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's what she should be doing. <laughs> D is talking to Big Brother. I'm more, I'm more comfortable in here than I thought I would be. Everybody's welcomed me. Um, if anyone's wanted to ask anything, they've asked. And I do appreciate that because, you know, it is nice to be asked instead of just to be judged. I haven't laughed so much in so long that I have done today. And being able to, you know, to, to smile without, without it being like really put on for a change. It's one of them, I'm here, and I think, not only did I come in once, I bloody came in twice. And do, what about the other housemates? I was really worried about Gary yesterday, but then again, today, I think, I think he's had an absolutely fantastic day today. He's been more mingling and more chatty, and he's so weird, but in an eccentric type of way. He's one of the most interesting people I could probably say I have met. There's people down there that are... <sighs> Audley Harrison. Audley Harrison. Who on this planet would have ever thought I would be eating a piece of chicken cooked by Audley bloody Harrison? And do you've had some conversations with Kelly as well. Mm. What have you learned about Kelly? Kelly has got to be one of the bravest people I've ever met. Boxing, you just follow the sports and this, that and the other. So you kind of do build up a persona because obviously of when she was Frank. Tonight she looks absolutely amazing. It don't take much just to sit down and listen to someone or to show an interest in someone. And sometimes that's all people, you know, probably want. They're probably just, you know, oh, I wish someone to sit down and just sort of, you know, just ask me how I am or what I'm doing or this, that and the other. You know, it's like, it don't cost you nothing and it don't, it don't take no, no time to be nice. Eleven twenty six PM. Most of the housemates are at the dining table. Do you want a beer? I'm right behind. Right. If I get desperate, I might. <laughs> Gives you wind. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, babe, you? All right, babe. <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> it's Olivia. What does that mean again? C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. That's life. What does it mean? What does it mean? I'm concluding it. But they said my headline. C'est la vie. Stephanie is talking to Big Brother. How are you finding the Big Brother house? Um, it's really relaxed, surprisingly. It's really nice. I think we have, besides one person, a very chill group. And who are you referring to? Um, Gary kind of. Causes some drama, but everyone else gets along. I think there's going to be a massive blowout with Gary. James had a big row with him, so something is, someone's going to really snap. If nominations were tonight, I would think everyone would put him up. 
James is still talking about his disagreement with Gary. I said to him, you're fucking rude, mate. And he went, what? And he, he turned around. I said, don't turn around and look at them. So I'm talking to you now, not them. Look at me when I'm talking to you. And I went like this to him, like he does to everyone. I went... <laughs> I haven't noticed. Does he do that? I yes. Noticed. And that set him off, huh? That was it? And it set him off, yeah. Did you talk after though? You put it to bed? Yeah, he was actually really nice. Oh, good. <clears throat> well, fair play to you both. Yeah. Like if he then spoke to you nicely, he took it on board. Exactly. And, and I reckon now mm. we'll get on like a house on fire because it's little See, and that's a okay. great that's attitude because exactly. it's not worse than an old person who doesn't want to change. Yeah. But I think it needs. Like I said to him, I said, I'm glad it happened. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad it happened because we needed to know each other's boundaries. I know yours, you know mine. I said, and you know, and he said, no, you're right, 100%. So it's good. I think it's really good. That's good, though. Good. Yeah. A nice reward, a party atmosphere, and a beautiful first day. Thank you, my angels. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my God. Twelve or three a.m. Some of the housemates are playing rock, paper, scissors. Right, we're doing rock, we're doing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Who, whoever loses. Yeah. Has oh, to you get, have rocks I, in Newcastle. I have to get in the bed <laughs> with, with Gary. I am so in. I want to freak him out. Right. Yeah. It's not like stone beat scissors. The majority goes out first. So say four of us get oh, rock. Okay. We're out. Yeah. Okay, let's go. One. Two, three, show. <laughs> okay, that's us for our shooting. <laughs> you two lads, you must do it. This is an iconic moment. This is a big brother moment here. <laughs> Can we hey, see the look in the room? Ricky, I'm rooting for you. Ready? One, two, two three, three, show. Oh, oh no! Oh. Okay, you're going. All right, let's go. Oh. High five. Let's go. High five. Let's go. Yo. Let's go. Stephanie has an important question for George. <laughs> Who would you rather kill you, David or Gary? Who I'd rather have kill me. Yeah. Or kill me? Yeah. I'd rather have them both come and then that way I'd get over and done with quicker. <laughs> I think I'd rather have David. I think it'd just be like a fast, like, break your neck kind of thing. Gary, it's just been awful. <laughs> He'd probably eat us. You think it's like the like smell, the pressure. <laughs> 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 David, I think he'd laugh a lot while he was coming. Oh my like, God, I've so never met anyone that laughs bit. more. He's that is so true, he would cheer you up. He would, you'd be like, oh, it's only David oh, killing you. Hey, him. you guys, you guys, they're playing rock, paper, scissors, right? For the loser, he's got to get in the bed with Gary. Stop, stop, and, stop. And so we all play, Ricky lost. So Ricky's got to climb, like we're all no, going to bed. Oh and Ricky's, got to, climb, go. Ricky's got to climb into his no. bed like it's his bed. Like, what? Oh, get out of my... He's going to die. Gary's going to die. This is so exciting. Please protect me if he kicks oh off. Yeah, God. you know, well, if it was, if it was oh any of the ladies, Gary would be okay. But he's going to kick off. Oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> we got a loser. Not a pretty scenario. We, we got a loser. Yeah, yeah. Before we go. That is so good. Have you got a break? Turn the light. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm saying goodnight, mate. I'm saying goodnight. You sleeping here? No, no, no. You can't do it here. No, okay. okay. Sorry, good night. Okay, good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. I'm saying, I'm saying goodnight. Good night. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's it. <laughs>